39, a 20.0 liter cylinder containing 11.34 kilograms of butane, which is C4H10, was opened to the atmosphere. Calculate the mass of the gas remaining in the cylinder if it were opened and the gas escaped until the pressure in the cylinder was equal to the atmospheric pressure, which is 0.9 A3ATM, and a temperature of 27 degrees Celsius. Okie dokie. So in this case, let's, let's see what's going on with the gas chapter and our pressures. The easiest thing is to list out every variable that you have, and then uh, we can find a formula from there. So they said that we had a 20.0 liter cylinder, so that's a volume. So I have a volume of 20.0 liters, and it contained this amount of mass of butane, right? Kilogram is a mass, so I have an M value, 11.34 kilograms of butane, which is C4H10. And this was opened to the atmosphere. Okay, so this was before, right? This was the total mass before it was opened to the atmosphere. Calculate the gas, calculate the mass of the gas remaining, so basically the, how much is left, if it were opened and the gas escaped until the pressure in the cylinder was equal to the atmospheric pressure. So they gave us a pressure here of 0 0.983 atm and a temperature of 27 degrees Celsius. So remember, if we have only one value for each variable, so I only have one volume, I got one pressure, I got one temperature, I don't have any sets, I don't have two volumes or two pressures or two temps, this is your ideal gas equation, which is this one, right? PV equals NRT. Now this one is very specific in terms of units because it all rests on the universal gas constant, which is the R value. In this case, the R value is a standard number of 0 0.0821. Sometimes your teacher or professor may want you to memorize it as 0 0.08206, but the six rounds the zero up to a one. So the less numbers, the better. <laughs> I like to use 0 0.0821. Uh, and the units of this locks all the other units into place. So for example, the R value units is ATM times liter over mole times Kelvin. So that's why the pressure has to be an ATM because it has to match the units of the R constant. Volume has to be in liters. The N is the number of moles. And then the T is the temperature, which is in Kelvin. So let's see. Is our pressure an ATM? Yes. They gave it to us an ATM. Thank goodness. So I have that. Volume has to be in liters. Yay. They gave it to us in liters. Check. Now, N, the moles, um, they gave us a mass. So maybe we could go for that, right? We definitely know the R value. And the T, the temperature is in Kelvin. This has to be turned into... Kelvin, right? How do we go from Celsius to Kelvin? We could just add 273. You could add 273.15, but I think this will, will do. 27 plus 273, I get 300 Kelvin. Okay. Now, keep in mind that this was total. This was after it was open to the atmosphere. Now they're saying that the gas was open to the atmosphere and then it correlated with this pressure and this temperature. So in essence, we have to solve for that amount of moles. They just gave us a total mass beforehand, but that is not the amount of moles in which the gas was opened, right? So in this case, we're, we're going to use the temperature and we're going to solve for the N value. So let's see. We have 0 0.983 times by the volume, which is 20.0, and this equals, I'm going to label this as x, the R constant is always the same, 0 0.0821, and then we have the temperature of 300. You can get this to being one number, get this to being one number and dividing it, but just for the simplicity of the video, I'm just going to 
solve for x by dividing by those two values. So I'm going to divide by 0 0.0821, and then I'm going to divide by 300. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Whee! There we go. 0 0.0821, and then 300. These two will cancel. Beautiful. Goodbye. And now we are with x. So let's see. 0.983 times 20 divided by 0 0.0821 divided by 300. And I'm looking back. Looks like three sig figs. So we'll do 0 0.798. At this point, I mean, who really cares about sig figs, right? <laughs> and that's moles of, um, who was this? This was butane, C4H10. Now, they wanted to calculate the mass remaining, right? They didn't want the moles. They wanted the mass. So all we have to do, I'm just going to pull this over here. All we have to do is just convert the moles into the mass, a.k.a. grams, right? So times by a ratio, we know how to go from grams to moles or moles to grams. Moles goes on the bottom. So mole of C4H10 goes up on the, uh, goes on the bottom, and gram of C4H10 goes on the top. Remember, if you're using the balanced equi uh, the periodic table, one mole equals whatever the molar mass is of C4H10. So I have four carbons, and then I have 10 hydrogens. So this comes out to being 58.12. Cancel out the moles. And let's see, that times 0.798. I get 46 point, uh, I guess we'll do 46, 46.4. And that's now grams of C4H10. Now, this one, the wording is a little bit tricky, right? They said calculate the mass that was remaining in the cylinder if it was opened and the gas escaped until the pressure of the cylinder was equal to this pressure and this temperature. This amount of moles is what is in the cylinder. That's the amount that's remaining. So there's 46.4 grams of C4H10 that is remaining. So did we need to know how much was at the beginning? No. But if the question asked for, calculate the mass that left, then you would have to take these two values and subtract them and then make sure that this was in grams because you can't subtract kilograms from grams. So this one was a little tricky. Remember, if you're using this formula, the moles are what's in the cylinder. They are not what is, you know, that it's not what was lost. So hopefully this makes sense. Thank you so much. I really hope this video helped. Let me know in the comments, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you all in later lessons. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.